You have to call him. You can't go to sleep without talking to him. Call him? I don't even know where the hell he is. Find him. You need your brother. I don't need him if he won't listen to me. Chateau is who he is. You still need him. If Chato wants to act on his own, without thinking about the rest of us, he'll have to survive on his own. He'll have to answer for whatever he does. I'm not going to protect him. I'm not going to support him. I won't give him shelter. Can you stay okay?
settle down. This is gonna work. All we gotta do is make sure he ain't wearing a wire. If he's in the habit of snorting coke, he won't be. I don't know if I can go through with this, cuz. What? If old boy is really a fan, then this whole place is surrounded right now. And when they bust in, all you gotta do is say, I didn't know he was a fan, I thought he was jacking me. And that your cousin, a cop, had to put him down when he went for his gun. Then it's my word against a dead man. <laughs> hey, we get Johnny Cocker, we can walk on this. Where you going? To the bathroom. Now, boy, you better get it together. I'm not letting you go down, because I'm not letting you take me down. I gotta go to the bathroom. This is Uncle Charlie to all units. What's your status on that tree? It's Tango One, ready when you are. Yeah, I'm set to go in. When I see the dope, I'll hit the alert. Roger that. Hey, man. Do like Jesus, spread your arms like a cross, and don't move. Check him, Sean. Come on, after all the crap you put me through. Hey, don't talk. Look, man, I don't have the CDs. I gotta call my man to bring the track to trailer. Hey, check his jaw, Sean. Don't hurt yourself down there. No why? Maybe he ain't the man. Is that what you think? You think I'm the man truck? You're incredible. Looks like the signal, huh? Dang. Turn around and get your hands behind your back. It's been seven minutes. You want me to move it? No, you sit tight and you stay off the air. Something's wrong. There should have been a signal already. There's nothing wrong, Flores. He's just waiting for the dope. Snort that blow. Come on. Hit it! You want to kill me? You go ahead and kill me. But this place is surrounded. Now, you want to murder a federal agent truck? That's the death penalty. You know that, right? The death penalty. Shut up. Let's start that damn house. Get out of my damn truck. way. Hey, where are you going? To the bathroom. Come back here, fool. No, if he has any sense, he'll go out the back Get way. Get truck back in this room. When the raid team hits, it's just going to be you two fools and a dead end. Drag agent. him off the toilet stool if you have to. Unless you want this man to live and you want to do life no parole, then you move. Flores, you do and you are finished. Do you copy? You're breaking up. I can't hear you. You stay in your car. You wait for my signal, or I will take your badge. Do you copy? What, should we go in? No, do not hit. Do not hit. No one else moves. That is an order. Yo. Look, man, my cousin done lost his damn mind. Truck, man. We ain't got no other way, dog. Look, man, all we got to do is turn ourselves in and get us some high-powered lawyers, man, and break. Damn that, man. Forget that. I'd rather die than do life no parole, truck. You know that. The only reason this bumpy wanted cracking the deal in the first place was so he could hit us with 36 to life. Oh, I know. You know, I know. So why you hesitate? We can do this, man, just like that. We can do this. We can go in there and we can waste this bumpy right now. We just got to get sight. You ready to do this? I don't hear you, dog. Yeah, tell we, you tell yeah, me. Yeah, can we do this? Yeah, we can do can this. we do this? We can do I'm this. I'm with you. You tell me. Can we, can we do, do this? this? Yeah. Can we do this? Yeah, we can do this. So your name is Rolando, right? Don't waste your time. Well, Rolando, I, I don't have nothing on you. I just heard your name for the first time today. I'm sorry, brother man. But if truck goes down, he tells everything he knows about me, and I cannot do time. I mean, you know what they do to cops in the joint, don't you? So you probably got coke in your veins already anyway. When the prosecutor finds that out, he's gonna know he can't get a conviction. So he won't even try. What's 
truck? Where's Chuck Thomas? What is this all about? Official business. Get down! See it! Get down! Oh, 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 oh. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Don't shoot! Hold on! Down! You, you wanna die? Get down! Get all right, down! All right, all right. Above your head and get down on the floor! Don't shoot! Hold on! Where is he? Tell me where he is. Please! Hey, drop that weapon! DEA, drop it! You are not DEA! You're trying to rip them off! Now drop the weapon now! Drop it or shoot! Drop that weapon now! Drop it! Get on the floor! You're surrounded! Drop the Shut weapon! Shut up, lady! Drop Put the it weapon. down! Get on the now! Floor. We're good. The team is in, Bobby. It's over. Who's got the keys? Chato hasn't been seen in the hotel since last night. We have to find him before the police do. Search every hideout he's ever used, every desert shack, every abandoned building. If Chief Lacereno's body hasn't turned up, he may still be alive. You can't go in. Do you know who I am? Senador. Felicistas. What did you do to my nephew? Senador. I had nothing to do with the police chief's disappearance. Mentiras. Pinche narco topir. You're nothing but low-class trash, just like your uncles and your grandfather before that. Listen to me. I want to find your nephew just as much as you do. You tell me where he is right now, in this instante, or I will unleash the entire government upon you. And when I'm finished with you, you will be begging in the streets to feed your family. Get him out of here. You've been warned. Beto. What the hell are you doing? 
The government is going to war against us and you sit here in the dark? Get up! Where is Chato? I don't know. Where is he? I don't know where he is. And I thought you could lead La Corporación. You can't even control your own brother. Nobody can control him. And what is the answer to that? You're not stupid, Miguel. El Senador has too much political backing. I can't even get our friends in Mexico City to take my phone calls. There is only one thing we can do to put a stop to this. No deal. Chato must be killed. I said no. You say no? Para tus machos, tío. Oh, Miguel. Close the door. You want to take over? It's too late, tío. We handled this my way. What way? What are you doing about it? not let you destroy what this family has built. If you don't deal with this problem before it's too late, I will deal with it, Miguel. My way. You protected any high-profile clients I might have heard of? Our client list is confidential. Oh, but you've been doing it a while, right? I mean, you seem kind of young. Uh, how long you been doing it? Hmm? You asked me something? How long have you been doing personal security work? It's my first week. But I was a Harris County Sheriff's deputy for like eight years. It's good to know. I never know when these things are right. You know, my father used to do this. I never asked him what the point was. You know, number 47, the list of conversations we never had. You close with your father? Should I not be talking? Really, is it a distraction? Because I guess your job is to be alert to your surroundings. You can talk. Feels kind of strange walking around in each other's company. You know? Seems like it would feel strange not really saying anything. You know what I mean? How, how does that usually go? Right? It's my first week. It's your first week. <laughs> Tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. What have happened to tomatoes, huh? They used to be red and juicy, and now, I don't know. Now they kind of taste like tennis balls. You know truck at the club, the studio, his girlfriend house. I told him that dude was an undercover. You knew truck was dealing with an undercover, right? Why didn't you tell me that? Now, I wasn't working for you. Well, I was working for truck. I mean, what you worry about fighting away, Doc? You think he gonna give you up to get a better deal for himself? Gee, gee, what do you think? Man, you ain't got a trip. They ain't find no drugs. People have gotten life sentences on conspiracy, whether the police find drugs or not. But then, Doc, we gotta hide, man. We gotta get out of town. We gotta lay low when things cool down. We, huh? Yeah, we. You need somebody to watch your back. We are not going anywhere. We have a surgical practice. If I disappear now, it'll only draw attention to me, man. You know, you gotta move your stash. It was probably the feds that broke in here and tore everything no, up. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure that was just someone trying to rob me. I... Still, the feds on your ass, you gotta move that stash. Well, they can't possibly have a warrant to search. You know, if you tell me where it's at, I'll move it. Thanks, but no. Where you going? I'll be back. Don't touch the stereo. Whatever the hell is going on, I don't see how you can make it any better by going to the CIA. I need information. 
This thing is bigger than the senator. He wouldn't make a move against us without backing from others in the government. Party leaders, cabinet secretaries, they would only go along with this if they know the money would keep flowing into their pockets. From who? Another cartel? From Tia Beto? I can't be sure. I want you to go to Chihuahua City. Talk to every judge you can, face to face. See if somebody will tell you anything. I'm going to Mexico City. Levántate, hombre. Always looking up. Don't, 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 don't shoot. You guys aren't cops. Who the hell are you? Give me back, man. You think that's all he's got? Oh, shut up, let's go. You another game, boy. It's time to go now, Joey. Come on. Why do we have to go to America? I don't understand. Listen to me. I'll explain it all to you very soon. I promise. But right now, I need you to be a good boy and do whatever mommy tells you. Okay? Okay. Good boy. <sighs> Joey, go with Joaquin. Call me as soon as you land. Come with us. I can't. It's too much, Mickey. We don't need all this. We can leave it behind. Until I find out what happened, none of us are safe anywhere. Please. Can you please? Marlene. <laughs> I'm joy see you cry. <sighs> I heard you rode in there like the cavalry with your guns are blazing, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Well, listen, you did a hell of a good job out there. A hell of a good job. And you ought to have Bobby wash your car for the next two years. <laughs> sure, huh? right. yeah. Which place did you hit? 
the recording studio. We got a, we got a few computers, a little cash, no dump. But you gotta tell me how it jumped off. What In my you office, Florence. Let me buy you a drink later on. I wanna hear the whole story while you still remember it right. Okay. Okay? All right, girl. Get the door. You're a hero. <laughs> I got lucky. I was overdue for good luck. Well, listen, uh, you going in the way you did, against orders? No, I don't want to have to write it up like that. And I sure as hell don't want to see you get jammed. Jammed? I saved Bobby's life. Well, that doesn't change the fact that uh, there are people at headquarters who still don't like you. Now, if they find out you were insubordinate, what they... Everybody knows what went down. It was on the air. Forget about what everybody heard. This group, it's a team. All you have to do when you write the report is say that I ordered you to go in. You ordered me to go in. Flores, I can see you being a key player on my team. Undercover, all nine yards. I want to make that happen for you. Is that what you want? Yeah. And write the report. Yo, Doc. Yeah. Hey, you got enough oxygen in there? Here's the combination. Left 24, right 16. Oh. Mm. Uh. Mm. So what you want to do, Doc? You can go home to your grandmother. I don't need you to watch my place anymore. What about your white boys that robbed you, Doc? You said you recognized one of their voices. That's my problem, Junior. Man, let me help you with it. I'm good at this kind of thing. Oh, you gonna handle it yourself? Oh, you gonna call your Mexican connection, huh? Well, the thing about that is, Doc, they probably think you can't handle your business and wonder why they're dealing with you in the first place. Man, let me help you get your stuff back. Thanks for making the trip. I suspect it's rather important. Senator Lazareno, is he a friend to the United States? That depends on which way the wind blows. He has someone backing his moves against me and my brother. Another narco. I want to know who it is. Mr. Cadena, notwithstanding our previous escapade, I don't have a dog in this fight. If the political bosses in Mexico City have decided to cut you loose, your value test doesn't amount to much. Whoever the senator has in mind to take my place, he won't be the kind of asset to you that I can be. Is that so? Put it to the test. What do you need? We need $20 million. Transferred to a bank account in the Isle of Man by the end of today. Not expecting me to survive till tomorrow. It's a vanishing account. The money's not there in 12 hours. There is no account. If I give you the money, I need more than information. If something happens to the senator, I need you to help keep the heat off me. I'll do what I can to help out a friend. But life is a roll of the dice. Isn't that the thrill of it all? What's the bank account number? Tomorrow, I want you to take $100,000 and you give it to Hector's wife. 
Tell her I'll handle all the funeral expenses. No, no. Call her now. I want to talk to her now. Don Miguel. We looked 25 different places. No one has seen Chato since he got out of jail. Damn it, you get out there and you keep looking. My men are still no, looking. No, you. You don't sleep until you find my brother. Miguel, you gotta look at this. El Lomo. The senator is in bed with the Tijuana cartel. Let me take my best men and go take care of him, Don Miguel. Rosales, find Chato. See, Don Miguel. Joaquin, I need to get a message to Tio Beto. He's somewhere in Ciudad Juarez. Find out where he is. See. Dude, didn't I tell you this was gonna be easy? It's like stealing candy from a candy store. Did you see the look on his face? Remember that? So, when do I get my finder's fee? When I sell it. How soon till you sell it? Oh, shit. Y'all robbed the wrong dude. Dad come with us. Sweetie, he had to work. But he'd be here if he could. Mom? Mm. What does Dad do? He's a businessman. But what does he do? Honey, you know he runs the Hotel Perla del Norte. And he owns a lot of other buildings. Mom? Mm. Why do we have bodyguards? <sighs> to help protect us. To keep us safe. I think Dad's in trouble. Shall we? tomorrow? <laughs> sure. We can find a church. What happened? What happened? Did, did you get it? And there were some bad dudes, man. I was lucky you got it there alive. What happened? I had to be me. You had to what? Body bag them, man. Oh, God. Oh, God, but you got what they took, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. OK, where is it? I got to find a place to put it. Don't worry, I'll put it away. Where? Hey. Hey. I want to see it. You know, Doc, I've been thinking. Me and you should be partners. What? I mean, you need you some muscle backing you up in this game, or this kind of thing gonna keep on happening. I mean, you know I'm right, Doc. I just put my life on the line to get your dope back. What do you say? Partner? Buenos dias, Senador. Thank you so much for agreeing to see me. Caballero. I apologize for the security measures, Senor Perez. I understand. What a beautiful greenhouse. Yes. My sanctuary. 
I always considered you a respectful man. I was never ashamed to do business with you. But this younger generation. They're destroying my beautiful country. How did that happen, Beto? Violence and disrespect. I think your nephew Miguel believes he owns the government. He should answer to no one. He still must answer to me. Does he? Is that true? Senador, I will deliver him to you. Him and Chato, both. If you call off your campaign against La Corporación, I will personally bring their bodies to you. I often wish I could deal with a troublesome nephew that way. I want things to be as they once were. I want order. Yes. Like when everyone knew their place. Si, senor. And even a peasant like me knew his place. It's always what you thought of my family, isn't it? As peasants. Criminals. Trash! <laughs> to bring my family down. What? Lobo, how are you, you old dog? Who is this? Miguel Cadena. You couldn't leave well enough alone. You had to try to take me out. I don't know what you're talking about. I will say this. It happened when I least expected it. And that's exactly when it's gonna happen to you, you fat fuck. Kiss my ass, Cadena. You're a dead man. You and your brother dead. Piss on both your graves. Goodbye. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been ten days since my last confession, and these are my sins. I pushed my cousin, and she fell and bumped her head. Why did you push her? She was being annoying. She's only six years old. Go on. I drank from the chalice in my church. What? From the sacristy. I'm an altar boy. My son, to violate the sanctity of the Holy Communion is very serious. I know. That's why I'm confessing. Go on. Father, can I confess for things that my father did? No. We can only confess our own sins. What things did your father do? I don't know. But I think he's in trouble. Well, we can pray for those in our lives. Don't ever underestimate the power of prayer if it comes from the heart. Is there anything else? No. Your penance is ten Hail Marys and five Our Fathers. Now say your act of contrition. My God. I'm sorry for my sins with all my heart. 
In choosing to do wrong and failing to do good, I have sinned against you. Make me feel better, Miggy. I don't feel any better. No, Miguel. Finish it. Taking you home. 